Hi, I'm Joan Ruane, and I would like to show you how to properly use a Nitty Knotty. I have done some plying on my wheel, and the first thing I'll do is release the tension on the bobbin. Um, then I'm going to take off my ring. Why? Because I'm going to put it on my thread, my yarn here, and um, that gives me uh, some weight and so the, bo the bobbin will not backlash. Holding the, the, the yarn, I will place it in the middle of the knitting knotty on the middle shaft, and then I'm going to go from one point to the next, and I'm going to knit and nod and knit and nod. Notice that my left hand or my front hand stays in one place and my knitty knotty is knitting and knotting. I will continue to fill this up when unwind all of the bobbin and it will be on the knitty knotty which gives me two yards. It is a two yard skein which is a standard skein and after it is skeined on I will then actually tie off in several places and usually I tie off in the four places. I'll get my ring over here again so that it doesn't backlash. Here it is. Here's the ring back here and again knit and nod and knit and nod. I will tie it in four places and I will use a figure eight tie and when I am filled here and if we can just stop for just a second can you now we are just about finished with winding it off you noticed how the bobbin did not backlash because I had this the ring sitting there on the yarn all right I'm just going to unhook this from my um, lead and we will then, well, it just really wants to be tight. Let's see, there we go. And I will actually just take this thread here, bring it around, and that is all ready now to take off. Um, all I need to do is to tie four ties here, and it will be ready to remove, and I will have a nice skein. For our information, I hope you'll go to my book, Beginning Cotton Spinning. My website is www.cottonspinning.com. Thank you and have a great day.